How's it going, you wonderful, wonderful people? Merry Christmas, even though it's the middle of the summer. Well, that's because I am at a place where it's Christmas all summer here at Santa's Village in Jefferson, New Hampshire, way up in the White Mountains, about 50 minutes north of Storyland, which I covered last year. We tried, Megan and I, to come here last year, but uh, here's a note. Make sure you buy your tickets in advance because this place can actually sell out for a good reason because they don't really want this park to be slammed so it encourages guests to return that's actually a really smart marketing strategy but anyway i've technically been to this park it's just been a little bit as in almost 30 years 1995 1996 around there it's been a while. I don't remember too much. I remember the flume called the Yule Log, which I'm definitely going to get on. There used to be an old roller coaster called Rudy's Rapid Transit. That's gone, but enter a brand new family of Vacoma roller coaster that just opened like a few weeks ago. So I am very excited. I've heard some really good things about Santa's Village. I heard it's really, really well themed. Uh, you might have some cameos from some friends that you know and love that have been on the channel before. Uh, Santa's Village though, Jefferson, New Hampshire. It is absolutely insanely gorgeous out here. The White Mountains can't recommend it enough. Let's hop inside, see what Santa's Village is all about. It's been almost 30 years since I've been here, but my God, I actually wish I came more as a kid. This place is so charming. Christmas music playing all over. Uh, current artists, old school classics, different versions. This park is one of the most charming and cute parks in the US, if not the world. You got the White Mountains in the background. The setting is incredible. This is just the cutest park of all time. That's Santa's house. We got his reindeer and sleigh right there. Turn the corner. There's a gingerbread house. They even have a reindeer shoe store and blacksmith shop. What? So they have these awesome scavenger hunt cards where you have to literally go all around the park find these little elves they each have a different letter and what you do is you insert your card you hole punch it and you have to collect them all to complete the christmas tree what an amazing touch i thought this would just be like a little kids thing no 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 i'm all about it so when i walked in the park i had like an apple core that i needed to throw out i could not find a trash can for the life of me i only found recyclables but then these penguins are all over the place i thought they were just decor and as sarah's going to demonstrate that's actually the trash can. That is so adorable. And I know you love penguins. I do, and they're everywhere. <laughs> Santa's Village also has a little water park as well. I, I can't get over the setting, guys. I'm sorry. The White Mountains of New Hampshire, such an underrated, beautiful place in this country. Uh, it's like a baby Colorado, I like to call it. Ah, can't get over it. We are coming up on the brand new midnight flyer the br when i say brand new it opened june 17th 2024 just a couple of weeks ago it looks really good it's such a fantastic fit for this park i am loving this elf that's just hanging onto the back of a train very very cool touch for midnight flyer so prior to midnight flyer there was a roller coaster called rudy's rapid transit it opened in 1988 same year i opened uh, and I did ride it way back then. I want to say 1994, 95, 96 was my third, third or fourth ever credit in my life. So it's really right. cool to see a roller coaster in this plot again. A brand new roller coaster. Uh, I'm excited to try it out. Brand new Vacomer. It's 41 feet high, 25 miles per hour. Obviously for the families, really, really low height requirement. 36 inches. That's like a three-year-old. That's so awesome. Whether you're five or 85. In fact, we were told um, opening day. Uh, one of the first riders was a five-year-old uh, girl, and she rode with her 85-year-old great-grandfather. That's when you know it's a perfect fit for a park like Santa's Village.
Also, I just want to point out, this is a family coaster. One of the best views for a family coaster in the United States. The White Mountains are just right in front of you. Ah, oh, I love it. I, I love nature. I love roller coasters. This is just a perfect, perfect combination. New credit. Midnight Flyer, baby. Uh, I've technically now ridden two roller coasters in that plot of land in my lifetime. Uh, one as a little kid, one uh, as a grown adult, which is really cool. That is one, obviously it's a family coaster. I'm not gonna give a score, official Coaster 365 score. Not for that. That's legit one of the smoothest coasters I've ever been on. New Vacoma is just doing such incredible, incredible things, especially the last like five years. I think Vacoma, they're gonna be the manufacturer of the 2020s. Like if RMC owned the 2010s, I think it's Vacoma's decade. I really, really do. They're doing unbelievable rides in Europe. Some of the you know craziest high thrill roller coasters you can ride, but also they know how to do a family ride. And that's actually the very first version of that particular model. If you are a little kid, if you have kids, if you have grandkids, that's a perfect roller coaster for all of you, as is Santa's Village. I love this park. I'm excited to check this out later. They literally have a sleigh in the sky instead of like a sky ride or a monorail even. How adorable is that? In my Six Fives New England vlog, I uh, essentially trashed how, uh, you know, rightfully so, uh, how expensive those prices were. This is much, much more reasonable. Well on you, Santa's Village. That is very, very much affordable. It is time for the Reindeer Rendezvous. What is the Reindeer Rendezvous, you might be asking? Well, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Dasher, guys, guys, we got real, reindeer here. Actually, Santa's reindeer. This is where they go in the summer. This is incredible. Look at those freaking antlers. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> this is a sled ride so unique to the States called YouTubing. How oh appropriate. God. Hey, we're, we're all YouTubers. <laughs> there go the YouTubers. About to go on YouTubing. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we go. Oh my god. Backward, backward. <laughs> <laughs> that was not just all Santa and elves and gingerbread. Of course, you gotta have some Jesus as well. They got a manger scene as well. You got the wise men. It's actually a really, really pretty manger scene. It's, the, it's the kids taking pictures on Mary's lap for me. Yeah, kids are like just sitting on Mary. I saw a kid put uh, their foot on baby Jesus. I was like... Yeah, you know. <laughs> kids these days, right? <laughs> the Burgermeister food court. If you've seen Santa Claus is Coming to Town, that awesome claymation from the 60s, you will understand where Burgermeister comes from. Besides Midnight Flyer, there's actually another coaster here called Poogie Penguins Spin Out. These cars are absolutely adorable. They are penguins. They are and kind of freaky looking penguins. I love it. They're the best. And fun fact about me, I've said it before on the channel, this would be credit number 474 for me. My first SBF visa. I'm actually proud of myself that I waited this long. I have finally, finally ridden an SBF visa. That was really fun. We spun so, so much. <laughs> I, love, I like them. I'm a big fan of it. I don't know how the other ones are, but uh, hey, I can say I've ridden a new manufacturer and a new model, even if it's one of the most popular in the world. 474. 500's coming, guys. It will happen in 2024. Oh, I'm gonna gain 10 pounds at this park. And you can make your own gingerbread people. I will try to let it happen. 
What's really cool is you actually get to decorate your own gingerbread cookies. And uh, I was never an artist. And that's what happened to mine. It's still gonna taste delicious. Stereotypical New Hampshire and Vermont, Northern New England, you gotta have a covered bridge. And what do you know? Sarah, yet again. <laughs> Time to hop on the U-Log Flume. This is actually a credit I have before. I rode this almost 30 years ago. And I remember liking it. I was terrified, of course, but I remember liking it. The setting for this flume is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to get back on this thing. There's the big drop. And once again, for like the eighth time, look at the setting of this flume. Flumes are awesome. That flume is awesome. Uh, just as fun as I remembered. Uh, reminded me a little bit of Shenandoah Falls at King's Dominion. Kind of on the side of the park in the woods. The setting is gorgeous. Really good drop. And we got a nice little splash. A nice refreshing splash. Doesn't soak you. Just enough to cool you off. I also have a semi brand new dark ride. I believe it's a shooter. The Great Humbug Adventure. I say semi new. This opened in 2020. One of the newest additions to the park. Even the house, even this house looks beautiful. It's definitely a shooter. There's Ebenezer with his gun. We gotta eliminate the humbugs. We will take care of you, the cause. The humbug ride, really, really fun. Very similar to a Gobbler Getaway at Holiday World. Like it's instead of themed to Thanksgiving, this one's themed to Christmas. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm here with not only Sarah, Taylor's here as well. Uh, we all were in the same car. I won. I won by a pretty significant amount, 95,000. Not bad for my first adventure uh, into Scrooge's house. This is a very important moment. I have 25 of the 26 letters. And I think Sarah's gonna be the first one. Oh my God. <laughs> you were ridiculous. Did the, oh, are you guys waiting? No. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, let's finish this thing. And... I realized there were other people. Yay! Sarah, how do you feel? Complete. I feel complete too. We are the Tinkers and welcome to... Bum, ba, da, bum, tinsel Tunes! We are here to spread cheer for all to hear. Introducing... The Tinsel Tunes! Oh, 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 made for you to spread all your Christmas cheer. We had just an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day here at Santa's Village, Jefferson, New Hampshire. I could not recommend this place enough. It is worth, it is very remote up here for most people in the U.S. Double it with Storyland. Honestly, if it's your first time, do them on two separate days. Seriously, this park is absolutely massive. One of the most well-themed parks in the country. I don't think that's an exaggeration. Everything is incredible here. Obviously, it's a kids park. If you're a diehard roller coaster enthusiast, if you try not to just come here for the credits, try to enjoy yourself. Go on the dark ride, walk around, take your time, play the alphabet game. Santa's Village is a huge win for me. I can't believe it has been this long since I've gotten back. And uh, thank you to my parents for taking me here for the first time way back when anyway. That maybe, I didn't know it then, the enthusiast juices were, were starting to flow even back then. So thank you guys so much for watching this really charming and fun park vlog. You know there's more to come in some really exciting places. So like, comment, subscribe. As always, love you all. See you next time.